Hello, YouTube. So I uh, I just rolled out of uh, just rolled out of eight nicks. I wasn't gonna shoot video, and then I decided, uh, yeah, I got over 20 minutes to wait for the bus, so I may as well shoot a little video. And, and yeah, I'm backtracking to to eight nicks just because I want to I want to get this car in video. I'm always bitching about how much I just absolutely hate cars these days, and and mostly it's just it's the giant SUVs and the giant trucks. And it's nice every now and then to see a car that is just fucking awesome somewhere. Like, that's that's like high school dream car for me right there. I don't know what year it is. It, it looks like it's from the, from the 80s, maybe the late 70s, but fucking nice-ass Trans Am. 455 under the hood, apparently. That's, uh, that's fucking badass. Looks to be fully restored and pretty much all stock. Apparently they just got it done because it's got a temp tag in the back. Yeah. Love to see more cars like that on the road and less giant ass fucking death trucks and ugly ass SUVs. Oh, and let's not forget the ugly ass minivans as well. So, uh, it's 10.36 p.m. Um, Saturday, April 9th, 2022. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty fucking melancholy right now. I... I, I, you know, I kind of thought I had some, kind of thought I had some, uh, some, uh, someone who actually wanted to, you know, be, spend a little intimate time with me tonight, but that didn't, uh, that didn't work out at all. Um, although it looks like I'm getting a text message. So. Yeah, text message from a number I don't recognize. I have no idea who, who that is. Well, I do I do have my phone number again. Um, and I think I mentioned that a while back. Uh, I forget what day it was at... Uh, what day it was at... Uh, oh, by the way, I don't know if you noticed in the last video that giant shopping cart full of garbage that was on that corner. It's gone, so apparently some homeless person uh, is laying claim to that and has moved it. Uh, anyway, I forget what day it was at, at Amazon, but uh, I don't know, tu Tuesday, I'm thinking. Um, you know, I should remember this and I should have mentioned it on my, on my vlog, and maybe I did, but uh, oh wow, this is... A lot of sketchy at this bus stop. Yikes. Wow. I'm not sure what all's going on behind that bus stop, but it doesn't look like anything good. Uh, yeah, this neighborhood has gotten so bad around 27th Avenue and Walgreens, or 27th Avenue in Glendale, that even Walgreens has got the hell out of their building. It's sitting empty now. Yeah, many, many years ago, I want to say like 90, 91, 92, 92, summer 92, I had a girlfriend that didn't live far from here, and we used to regularly come to a bar in this strip mall. I forget what night of the week it was, but they used to have a penny pincher beer night, and damn, that was fun. I, uh, I miss her. I really do. I wish I knew what happened to Amy. Um... We tried to get back together once. It, it didn't work well, out well. Uh, basically spent spent one night together and got it on, and then she cried to me and told me how badly I uh, hurt her and broke her heart and messed up her head. That's ah, a long story. She kind of did the same thing to me, but anyway, that was all. That was all in the early to mid '90s, so. <laughs> now she's now she's probably if memory serves her and I are like the exactly the same age so now she's probably in her early 50s somewhere <laughs> in an unhappy marriage but anyway um, Lenny's Burgers drive through Lenny's has good burgers but I highly doubt they're I don't smoke and if you gotta ask other people for cigarettes you shouldn't smoke either yeah, I'm thinking, I'm kind of hungry, but I'm thinking this place is, yeah, I got a feeling they're just serving in the drive through only. I don't see anybody inside.
Yeah, doors are locked. Add that to the list of places where I could eat if I had a car, but I don't have a car, so I, uh, I get to go hungry. <laughs> One thing is, is uh, yeah, my, I've just not, I've been, I've been just eating so inconsistently since I've lost my car just due to, due to that. Although it looks like they're serving the guy on the bicycle, so maybe. I don't know, I think I'm just going to keep on walking. It's like the text message is from the so-called girlfriend. Weird. Um, yeah, so... I actually went home with her last night, and, and for the first week and night in ages, she didn't stay all out all night with God knows who. Um, I feel like I probably spoiled her plans. Uh, so I didn't really go into much detail in the last video about what happened last night after my last video yesterday. I'm trying to remember what my last video was yesterday. Um, so I was kind of doing it of every place I was going, and at one point I just kind of got, got sick of it. And I, I think that was, I think that was before I actually got to Bullock's. And, you know, normally, I, lately I've been better at remembering, like, when, when I shoot video and whatnot, but... I don't know, things have been kind of bleh for the last couple of days, so... 45 a gallon. Damn, looks like it's going down. It was up to like 469 most everywhere. I want to see that shit see that shit go up above seven bucks. People can start thinking about whether or not driving is a good thing and maybe some improvements can be made to public transit. And more people can actually start riding public transit. Yeah, that's right. You need to stop your giant fucking machine of death and not run me over. Thank you. Um but, uh, yeah, people are still buying those giant trucks. There's another one. <laughs> There's another one. Um, so, yeah, obviously gas is not too expensive. So it definitely it needs to get more expensive to curb that nasty habit of big, scary trucks. Um, you know, I remember when, when gas prices were rising in the late 80s, early 90s, and it was nowhere near as high as it is now, and that pushed the market towards economy cars. Uh, small cars that were very fuel efficient, uh, such as like the, the Geo Metro, uh, the Honda CRX, <laughs> I've got two of them somewhere, probably never gonna be fixed because my mechanic can't seem to fucking finish anything for me. Um, yeah, and of course, no word on the Saturn, which was supposed to be done, you know, six months ago. Um, so I'm sure he's not doing anything to finish up my uh, my CRXs, as much as I would love to have one of those drivable. Um, but yeah, the CRX, sporty car, but actually very fuel efficient. And there were a lot of cars like that. Uh, a lot of, you know, small Japanese cars, uh, small American cars. I mean, the Ford Festiva, not a really cool car, but the thing was damn fuel efficient. Um, so many small cars in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, in fact, not just the Geo Metro, but all the Geos. The Geo Storm, kind of a sporty little thing, but also very fuel efficient. And of course, there were the, the Dodge K cars. Um, and they had a sporty version of those. I used to have a Dodge Omni 024, I think it was an 82. And again, like very fuel efficient, small car. Um, I, I really miss the, the fuel-efficient, small uh, economy cars and, and hashbacks of the uh, late 80s, early 90s. It seems like those, those have just become a thing of the past, and now you've just got these giant-ass fucking king cab trucks and with the hoods that are up, up past my shoulders and, uh, and just these god-awful uh, SUVs and crossovers and and bulky ass minivans. I mean, the whole roads are just full of that. And here's another goddamn crossover. Um, it's just like people just c completely quit com quit caring about fuel efficiency. Um, and apparently, the surge in gas prices isn't really making anybody care. People are just bitching about the gas prices instead of taking a second to question hey, maybe I should have bought a more fuel efficient vehicle. 
anyway I digress so 1045 right now and I don't think I'm a hotspot set up so that Samsung is not gonna tell me when the bus is coming uh, decided to walk this way for two reasons a I had 20 minutes to kill I'm at like 10 minutes into my video here I had 20 minutes to kill until the bus was coming uh, so I was hoping I could find some place where I could eat because uh, I'm damn hungry and the other thing was uh, I wanted to that bus stop there at 27th Avenue in Glendale for the uh, westbound 70 was super sketchy. Um, speaking of super sketchy, so uh, earlier I went to went to the uh, went to the um, guitar center up at uh, at 28th Drive. I have, it's Metro something. It's not Metro Center. It's Metro Center is no longer open but a lot of the, the different strip malls surrounding metro center are i forget the name of the particular one it's in but it's on the northeast corner of uh 28th drive and um 20th drive and peoria avenue just on the west side of the i-17 freeway and guitar center great got great customer service there had a good time they got me exactly what i needed um, so, looking forward to having my next karaoke show at Bullock's without having to jump up in town on, uh, on audio cables, trying to get it to, uh, not short out when I'm, uh, yeah, like one channel has been cutting out. And, and it's been kind of a, kind of a nice, whoa, there's someone flying behind me on a scooter. Kick scooter, not even an electric scooter. Um, yeah, it's, uh. And kind of, kind of dice. Uh, the cord has been shortened out and getting progressively worse for for months, and 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 those are that's a difficult thing to take care of without a car. You know, I, it's just difficult for me to, especially considering you know what a, what a mess things are for me at my home and how uncomfortable of a place that is to, to test and check cables. But yeah, there's so few places that actually sell good quality audio cables, and. None of them anywhere near where I live or anywhere near near Bullocks. Now, granted, there are Guitar Center locations considerably closer to where I live than the one uh, on Peoria Avenue. However, they're all located at places that that there's just no bus service to get me there. Um, there's one that's located at Scottsdale Pavilions, which is on uh, on um, like right off the Loop 101. On, it used to be called Indian Bend Road, and they changed the name of it uh, to Talking Stick Parkway. Uh, even though it's called Scottsdale Pavilions, it's technically on the Salt River uh, Pima Indian Reservation. And there's no bus service there at all, none. Uh, I think the closest bus route that'll get me near it gets me within like a mile and a half of it. So, yeah, not really, not really feeling a three-mile walk to go, get, to go to that guitar center. Um, there's also, uh, there's one at Val Vista and, uh, and US 60. And I do think there's a bus that goes north and south on Val Vista, but I've pretty much found any time I go into Mesa, other than staying on the light rail, trying to get to buses in Mesa equals I get stranded. That's what happened to me last Saturday. Yeah, not trying to do that again today. Um, and the other one I can think of is, is in uh, South Tempe near Ikea, like right off the I-10. <laughs> Everything's right off of freeways, which is not helpful when you're a pedestrian because the buses don't really service freeways. Um, it'd be great if they did. Um, in fact, it'd be great if, if this city, like, like a big chunk of Portland, uh, had... Uh, fast light rail that paralleled the freeways that way if a business was close to to a freeway and a major interchange you can just take the light rail there but yeah that's not how our light rail is in phoenix instead we got a train that goes 35 miles per hour down the middle of strodes and stops every half mile and it's basically a bus on rails um all right, next bus at the bus I just stopped was at 10:58. I got 10:50 right now. Looking at the looking at the Valley Metro Transit app and an Obama phone number one in my other hand. Um, 
Yeah, the Transit app doesn't work very well on that phone just because of how uh, low the screen resolution is. And it's just clearly designed to operate on a screen with a bigger resolution. But I do have service through Mint Mobile. And uh, since I'm only using it for stuff like that, uh, and can't, you know, because I'm only using it for stuff like that, and uh, this phone that I'm filming on here, Obama phone number three, uh, from uh, from Assurance Wireless, um, using the bulk of my data on that, it's, it's working out pretty nicely. So, uh, let's see, 1059 at 21st Avenue, and this is this light here. Um, so, so, eight more minutes. I'm debating as to whether I want, want to walk over to 19th Avenue. I ain't got enough time to walk over to 19th Avenue. And then, of course, then I get to decide, hey, do I, want to, do I want to keep waiting for this bus or do I want to maybe take the light rail? There is a light rail station at 19th Avenue in Glendale. Although, I'm not sure if that light rail will get me... Like, if by the time it gets me to Thomas, if there'll still be a Thomas bus. In fact, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure there, uh... Won't be. Almost woman pushing all that garbage actually looked to have a pretty nice body. Of course, I didn't really see her face, so... God knows how old she is. Uh, anyway, moving right along, 21st Avenue. Um, yeah, I'm thinking if I get on the light rail that I might find myself uh, stranded south of where I want to be. Because if I get myself down to Thomas, but then I can't take a Thomas bus eastbound. Yeah, I don't want to be at Central and Thomas trying to figure out how to get home. Um, hmm, let me get back on the transit app and figure that out. I'll keep walking, though, towards 19th Avenue. Uh, now, there's still a bug in the uh, Valley Metro Transit app where when you click on a lot of light rail stations, it only shows you trains going in one direction. But it seems like in the majority of inter uh, instances, that one direction is eastbound towards Mesa. So, um... <laughs> and of course, in this instant, no, it's not. It's showing me the ones westbound. Thanks, Valley Metro. Please fix the bug. I actually did email them today, showing screenshots of how that's happening and asking if they could uh, explain uh, what I need to do to get get it when I click on a uh, light rail station to show me trains going in both directions. And... Um, I, I don't expect I don't expect a sensible response. I did ask them about that same issue. I want to say about three four months ago, and the explanation I got made it very clear to me that the person responding didn't understand that I was talking about the Valley Metro mobile phone app and thought I was talking about the Valley Metro website, which is a completely different thing. Um, I didn't even bother responding to it. I had better shit to do with my time, and I just felt like I was, I just felt like I was talking to somebody who was clueless. So why, why waste more of our collective time? But, uh, but, um, yeah, the uh, this time around, I, I didn't really write much. Mostly, I just sent two screenshots showing what the problem is, and. Asked uh, how to resolve that problem. So, um, ooh, we got a jaywalker running. Barely see him because it's so dark. Now, speaking of jaywalkers, I should have been shooting video when I was on my way to uh, to um, to uh, Guitar Center because it was uh, quite an adventure. Um, the, the Route 106, which I was taking from 19th Avenue over to 28th Drive to get to the, to the Guitar Center store, um, I, I got a screenshot of it. I, I'm not sure if I posted it on Snapchat or not. I think I did. Um, um, they're back to, the app is back to showing, uh, showing 
showing when things are uh, when uh, showing when buses are canceled again and it was showing almost every other bus on the route 106 westbound being canceled which was essentially leaving like a bus an hour which is you know the the regular frequency of a bus every half hour is in, in my opinion extremely inadequate so to drop that to once an hour ouch brutal and then the bus that i i was supposed to transfer to um it was showing it as on time when i got on my train it was headed that way uh then it was showing it was going to be about three or four minutes late when I got to the corner of, uh, it was just about to the corner, I was on the Route 19 northbound, uh, almost to, um, almost to, to, um, Peoria Avenue. I was showing it was going to be about three minutes late, which was perfect. But then when I clicked on, I clicked on the, the time to see where it was physically located at with the GPS tracking, it, um, it was, uh, Oh, now it's saying that the bus and I'm, wait, whoa. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I just had, I just had a retard moment. I, I clicked on the, uh, clicked on the bus and it was showing me the wait for a, uh, Route 80. And I realized I had slid the map north to see if maybe if I looked at the northern station, I could get a, get a, get an estimate of when the train was going to be arriving there at its southbound but uh, I don't know at this point I just feel safer taking this bus uh, it's uh, this is going to be there at 11 o'clock it says it's on time I got 1057 right now so where is it it is a 23rd drive so it's just about here better get my ass over to the to the bus stop Sad if I miss this one. I can't. No, that's a truck. That's a semi truck behind me. Yeah, it's pretty darn close to me now. So, didn't have to walk this mile. It just felt good to walk and talk and be away from all the uh, people doing drugs there at the bus stop at 27th Avenue and all the. Oh, let's not forget, when I was almost to the bar, there was a freaking gunshot, and that's a little scary. Speaking of. of sketchiness at the bar um when i walked into the bar you know, I, everywhere i'm going i got my uh, amazon shoulder bag with me because basically my transportation I, I can't leave things in my car because i don't have a car to leave them in and I, I don't know if i'm gonna make it home between now and my next shift at uh at amazon i was planning on staying the night with a friend tonight so i've got my uh I've got my safety shoes on, so I'm ready to go to Amazon. And I've got all my Amazon stuff in the bag. And I've also got the stuff that I got at, uh, there's my bus right there. Shit, I need to get my mask on. Uh, anyway, I'll explain what happened at the, uh, at the bar, but it was extremely frustrating. And basically the guy, the guy called me, in my opinion, the, the, the guy behind the bar called me a thief without calling me a thief. And uh, I'll go into a little more detail on that in the next video because uh, I'll probably be shooting video between 24th Street and 32nd Street as I walk up Thomas. Anyway, here's my bus. Let's see if it actually stops for me. I do have so much of an issue of buses just driving by. Oh, and I had one yesterday. I was trying to get out to Dunes for karaoke. Um, like I was jumping and waving my arms and he was prepared to go right by me without even slowing down at 31st Avenue, which is where the transfer is from Route 27. But this guy's stopping, thank God.